the LaSalle Causeway lift bridge will be greatly missed by many, but the time has come for a new bridge to take its place, and preparations for the arrival of a temporary structure began this week. For much of July, the last remnant of the LaSalle Causeway lift bridge, the bridge deck stood alone on the east side. Some believed that it might become the temporary crossing, but that belief was shattered this week. Priestley Demolition returned to make short work of its destruction. There was no resisting the powerful mechanical grab we'd seen in action before. New decking installed as part of the refurbishment process was shattered like a child's toy. A structure that had supported the city solidly for over a century was reduced to scrap in about 48 hours. Whilst the efficiency of the team engaged in the work deserves respect, it is sad to see it carried out. The work of the small team from Priestley was relentless. Piece by piece the remaining bridge sections were taken apart. Expert application of a cutting torch enabled the grab to work at peak efficiency. Before very long on Wednesday, only one upright remained. It was no more capable of resisting the torch than any other section. No time was lost in breaking it up and taking it away. This was the situation on the east side by Wednesday afternoon. Tidying up was clearly the order of the day. Next morning, only a few remnants of the bridge remained on the margins. And a new group from Western Mechanical and Electrical had appeared on scene. With surveyors working nearby, the Western work appeared to be focused on test fitting some sort of supports on the concrete plinth. Meanwhile, the Priestley team, who've demonstrated this before, were concerned about remediation of the site. The Western team's concern to have the supports precisely right was evident. With measurements and specifications confirmed, the pieces could be removed for final fabrication on site. The arrival late on Thursday of a shipment of large steel bars was an exciting development. It was becoming clear that a large heavy duty forklift which had also appeared on scene, was going to do more than move dumpsters. Its primary purpose in handling the new arrivals quickly became clear. Friday, a grey sort of day, saw continued work on the supports. This included what appeared to be the preparation of a brace for the first support to be placed on the north side.
The day also saw the arrival of more of the steel bars, making for a considerable number on the north side of the east end. By the weekend, the number had grown considerably. Their purpose remains unclear. But it's entirely possible that the crane, which has been waiting patiently, will soon be busy. Back at the water's edge, this was the situation as the week drew to a close. It will be interesting indeed to see what lies ahead. And if you want to know, follow this channel. Thanks for watching.